Hello everyone, welcome back to a Small Turbo YouTube channel. So now let's talk about the last module of our lesson for Science 7, Quarter 4, Module 10, entitled Lights On or Lights Off. This is something to do with the eclipses. But before that, let's first have the what I knew portion for our answers. So ipa-flash ko lang ang mga answers sa what I know. And... Para magpo-focus tayo sa discussion. Alright, so let's have the solar eclipse. Let's discuss about the solar eclipse first. But before that, let's have first the answer for this supplemental activity. So example of opaque object. It's letter A and for here. This object emits light. Alright. So, let's have the PowerPoint presentation for this discussion about the solar eclipse. So, we have different types of materials based on transmission of light. So, when you say transparent, so this is the type of material wherein it will allow all the light to pass through. Whereas, for the translucent material, these are the materials that allow partially, no? not all light can pass through. Not all the light can pass through in, in that translucent materials. For the opaque materials, these objects or these materials are not allowing light to pass through. So, example... Let's have examples of opaque materials. We have wood, concrete, and many more. For the transparent, we have glass, air, water. Basically, air, water, transparent talaga sila. Translucent materials could be tinted glass. Talking about shadows, so for opaque objects, they form dark shadow and for translucent object they uh translucent object forms faint shadow whereas opaque object forms dark shadow so as you can see solar eclipse occurs during new moon and in solar eclipse as you can see, the moon is in between the sun and the earth, and they are perfectly aligned, okay? So, solar eclipse occur, or solar eclipse occurs when the moon is in between the sun and the earth, and they are perfectly aligned. Okay, let's go back. So, solar eclipse occurs during daytime wherein the moon is in between the sun and the earth and they are perfectly aligned as i have mentioned a while ago and we have different parts of the shadow we have the ombra it's the dark portion of the shadow then the penumbra the faint part of the shadow and the antombra which is beyond beyond the ombra so these are the images that we can see in the sky up in the sky during eclipses so if it's penumbra we can look like it the sky or the sun in the sky will look like this during antombra it will look like this and during the um no what i mean is this is annular eclipse partial solar eclipse annular solar eclipse and this is total solar eclipse i'm so sorry so if the moon blocks the light or blocks the sun in this way so, nasa pinumbra lang. Nasa pinumbra lang ang area natin sa Earth na na 
magka-experience ng ganito. If, for example, nasa Antumbra naman ang, ang lugar kung saan na, na paroon tayo sa er, where we are located, so, we can see the sun in the sky like this. If, for example, our place falls in the ombra, part of the shadow of the moon, so we can see the sun like this in the sky. Parang may mali. Earth po pala ito. So, pas pagpasensyahan niyo na po. For illustration purposes po pala, lang po pala yun. Anyway, nagkamali siguro yung artist na nag-drawing nun. Kasi dapat ang solar eclipse is nangyayari daytime. And shadow ni moon dapat ang ating pag, ano, um, ipofocus during solar eclipse. So, by the way, we have these three types of solar eclipse. Total solar eclipse, ito yung ma-experience natin if our place is located in the umbra part or sa dark portion ng shadow ni moon. Kasi si moon yung nakaform ng shadow dito eh. Na-fall ang shadow niya sa earth. In the partial solar eclipse naman, so ang kapag ang location mo dito, so dito sa earth is in the penumbra part of the shadow of the moon, you will experience the partial solar eclipse. And kapag naman nasa antumbra, that's beyond the umbra, you will see the sky, the sun in the sky, like a ring of fire. And these are the dates I have gathered. Some of the dates I have gathered wherein we experience solar eclipse. So, we have precautionary measures during solar eclipse. Do not stare directly at the sun. Do not use homemade or improvised filters or ordinary sunglasses. Make sure to use special purpose solar filters like eclipse glasses, handheld solar viewers, or pinhole projector. So that was all about the solar eclipse. Ipa-flash ko na lang ang answer sa ating what's more portion. And also sa what I have learned. Paki-pause na lang sa ating video. Alright. Meron po para dito hindi ko na ansiran. Do not stare directly at the sun. Sun sa dapat dito. What I can do? So, we have an eclipse. Does it happen every month? Because the earth's okay. Pakipause na lang din. Para hindi tayo maubusan ng oras. For the assessment, yes, ipa-flash ko rin. Kasi I make sure to put this um, two topics in one video lesson. Okay, pakipos na lang ng ating video po. And for the additional activities, nandito tayo sa solar eclipse. And this time, let's proceed to the what I know portion sa lunar eclipse. So again, pakipos na lang din ng ating video. Para po ma-focus niyo ang ating answers. So let's talk about the lunar eclipse using our, the PowerPoint I prepared. So, lunar eclipse occur, or occurs during night time, during full moon, wherein the sun, the earth, and the moon are perfectly aligned. So, earth na this time yung nasa gitna during lunar eclipse. And it will look like this. So, perfectly aligned dapat. So, this is the umbra of the earth. This is the penumbra of the earth. Okay. So, kapag... Si moon ay nandito sa ombra. We experience the the people here will experience the total lunar eclipse. Kapag naman mag-move si moon, so in between na siya sa ombra and pinombra, so we will experience the partial lunar eclipse. Kapag naman si moon ay nandito na sa pinombra, we will experience the penumbral lunar eclipse. 
So, itong Penumbra Lunar Eclipse is um, unnoticeable. So, mahirap yun inotice. Meron lang siyang parang darker portion sa uh, surface ng moon. Pero parang the same lang sila ng full moon. Kaya, we, we should be very keen in observing it. Yeah, this is what I mentioned a while ago. And these are the dates where we already experienced the lunar eclipse. So, let's have the answer for the what's in portion. So, this is the sun, the earth, the moon. They should be perfectly aligned for the lunar eclipse to occur during full moon. And the answer for what's new portion, dito, pakipost na lang. For the what is it, this was our discussion. Oh, we made it already. What's more, these are the answers as well. What I have learned. Okay, nandito rin po. Pakipost na lang din po. What I can do. Okay, po focus natin. Between solar and lunar eclipse, which is harder to observe, explain, write your answer in the space provided. So as I have mentioned, it is the penumbra lunar eclipse. Because of this, it can be difficult to spot and the eclipse moon can look like a regular full moon. That's what I mentioned a while ago. Okay, let's have the assessment. Which astronomical objects produces light? Object sana to. Wala si S. Which astronomical object produces light? It's the sun. What astronomical phenomenon will happen when the Earth is in between the Sun and the Moon? That's lunar eclipse. Which astronomical object produces a shadow during a lunar eclipse? So it's the Earth. During solar eclipse naman, just a recall, it would be the, okay, it would be the Moon that produces a shadow. Which of the following statements best describes a lunar eclipse? So, it's a phenomenon when Earth moves in between the Sun and the Moon, and it is a phenomenon when the Sun strikes the Earth and produces shadows. Okay, 2 and 3. Kasi itong 1 is, it has something to do with the solar eclipse already. Which of the following astronomical object moves into the shadows of the Earth during lunar eclipse? So, moves into the shadow. So, si Moon ang nag-move into the shadow of the Earth. What astronomical object turns into reddish color during lunar eclipse? It's the Moon. So, before I proceed the eye, during the total lunar eclipse, the Moon will become red. It's reddish in color. Kasi lahat ng color is na-filtered out, uh, pan-entering the atmosphere, si red lang yung naka-scatter. Ano, naka, na Next, which of the following astronomical object is not involved during lunar eclipse? It's the Mars. Which of the following statements shows the movement of the moon during lunar eclipse? So it's moon passes through Earth's shadow. And moon moves behind the Earth's shadow. These are the correct answers, 2 and 4. Which of the following is the correct alignment of lunar eclipses? It's the sun, the earth, and the moon. Kasi kapag sun, moon, and earth, that is already a solar eclipse. During lunar eclipse, the sunlight passes through Earth's atmosphere, which causes Earth's atmosphere to filter out most of the blue light. With blue light filtered out, how will the moon look during a lunar eclipse? So, the moon will look red. What phase of the moon does lunar eclipse happen? It's full moon. Yung solar eclipse, new moon yun. Which of the following statement shows the occurrence of lunar eclipse? It happens during night time and it happens when moon moves into the earth, earth's shadow. Kapa, kasi itong three is, it has something to do with the solar eclipse already. Which of the following statements shows scientific basis and the things to do during eclipse? So, moon moves into the Earth's shadow, and observing lunar eclipse with our naked eye is safe. Yes, it's just safe during uh, lunar eclipse. There is no need for us to wear an eclipse goggle. Okay, for 14 and 15, ipa-flash ko na lang itong ating answers. And for additional activities, kayo na lang pong bahala dito mag-research. Anyway, the same lang naman ang answer natin kanina. So, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.
school year.